हाई टू लेकर बेटा गुड इवनिंग सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर या गुड इवनिंग या गुड आफ्टरनून Yes, shall we start after uh, five to ten minutes? Because as of now, only five participants are there. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We will wait the. Ah, uh, uh, we will wait yeah, the five ten. Yeah, we no will wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. सील ब्रूड पर्वे ओपन ब्रूड कल Yes. 
తర్వాత రాయల్ జిలి బాటిల్ తర్వాత జస్ట్ రాయల్ జిలి ఫ్లాస్ స్టార్ట్ అయిపోయినా తీసుకో ఇక్కడ కూర్చోయింది అండి ఇక్కడ కూర్చొని అంది ఊటలు అందించాలి నాకు ఇక్కడ వర్షం పడితే ఇక్కడ రెడీగా ఉన్నాం ఇక లోపల తీసుకెళ్ళి ఓకే షల్ వి స్టార్ట్ హలో అకార్డింగ్ I, no yeah. problem you can take the decision what is there yeah so that's why i'm uh, waiting for that and uh, this uh-huh. ppt will continue from uh, same point or uh, what to do because no I- no the, the, today's session is a b high products okay so no ppt today hmm. no ppt is there this ppt is related to the b high products okay so when hmm. page yeah the, from that b high products uh, starting points b high products uh if yes b wax ah uh, no no starting onwards the b uh, high products okay. from the slide on so let's start so starting onwards okay so okay let me check with ma'am what to do hmm. and uh, then hmm. uh, because only two people are there so i think uh, let me check hmm. but do we have a uh, audience in facebook uh, sandeep ji okay sir what we will do sir we will continue let's see sir we'll we'll continue yeah 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 sir let's see okay
Okay. From uh, the starting slide onwards, we'll start. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go back so, to the starting slide. Products, be high products. Okay. One moment, sir. Now, participant one, participant also. From uh, B high products, that slide, not this one. Yes. Okay, shall we start? Yes, sir, please go ahead, sir. Okay, yeah. Uh, yesterday, we, we discussed about the B high products. Uh, on that, we are uh, detail wise, we are going today's session. Uh, B high products. So how many B high products we had? Nobody doesn't know. Uh, most of the yesterday I said most of the people don't know about the only honey and 40 to 50 percent will know about the B swags. But you see the next slide, and you see that this is the order and value uh, money point of view uh, and uh, medicine value point of view. This is the order uh, from the B high products. There's a first valuable product from the honey bees is the royal jelly. The name itself is royal. There is a value of the product this is a royal jelly uh, it's a jelly form is a white color uh, looks like say ghee what you are using the garpi use hota na wo jaisa ghee jaisa rata ye wala royal jelly that is feed for larvas and uh, lifetime food for queen bee that is the reason uh, queen laying eggs per day 1000 to 2000 eggs and uh, lifespan of the queen bee is a 3 to 6 years because of royal jelly that is the reason this uh, royal jelly consumption uh, human beings also uh, for the lifespan increase of your using the royal jelly and uh, anti cancer anti tumors uh, for that also very much useful, useful that royal jelly uh, in the in coming days india also one of the demand will for uh, the royal jelly so we are encouraging the farmers to collect the royal jelly and uh, processing and packing techniques, techniques also provided by the kvsc uh, cbrt pune and uh, national bee board uh, to the farmers mm, so coming days is a lot of demand is a royal jelly but is a very sensible subject, uh, uh, very patient uh, uh, to collect the royal jelly, very patience is required for the uh, little bit quantity of uh, royal jelly we can collect from the uh, uh, cells. So there is, there is a separate technology, uh, royal jelly collection method is different technology. Uh, we have to graft the um, larvas, day, day two, day three larvas, we have to graft to, to the cups. That will be uh, remaining workers will feed the um, royal jelly to the larvas. Then after fourth day or fifth day, we have to take it out of the cells and we have to remove the larvas. And that little bit quantity of royal jelly we have to collect it, extract it from the cups. And can you see my video? Anybody? Sandeep ji? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we are here.
हेलो यस सर सर यू आर इन मोड ओके नाउ इट्स ओके यस यस या आई विल आई एम शोइंग हियर दिस इज रॉयल कैन यू सी एवरीबॉडी कैन यू सी यस yes yes yeah, yes this is a royal jelly uh, once we are collecting the royal jelly from the bee hives that royal jelly immediately you have to put it in the minus degrees in freezing conditions otherwise it will spoil that is the reason we are keeping this royal jelly immediately we have to put it in the refrigerator in the minus degrees otherwise there is no value of the royal jelly so this is a way uh, this is a very sense to uh, material and very sense to subject uh, highly patience is required to collect this product and in field itself you have to provide the ice box in that you have to put the royal jelly like this this is a uh, raw form of liquid form royal jelly uh, just uh, brought it from the refrigerator and i will show the cups see this is the cups royal jelly uh, collection cups this one is see in this we have to graft the small day one day two larvas and you have to put it in the cells all the cells then immediately Uh, workers be will think uh, this queen cell they will misunderstand in the this is a queen cells but uh, that is a reason they put the more royal jelly in this cups entire this cup will be covered completely with the royal jelly then after four days or fifty days depends upon the population of the uh, bees in the colony uh, that um, filling of the royal jelly will depends upon the population. Uh, so after four days or five days, you have to remove this one, and you have to uh, uh, take down any spoons or uh, uh, wooden spoons, and you have to collect the, that royal jelly. That is a uh, royal jelly becomes this like this. We are collecting the one uh, colony. We are collecting the maybe eighty um, uh, to hundred grams. You can collect one bee box. Actually, this cost of royal jelly is uh, around uh, um, liquid form. Is a semi liquid form that uh, raw form. Uh, that cost will be around twelve thousand rupees now, and uh, after that you have to uh, this uh, semi liquid royal jelly. You have to make it as a powder form in the freezing condition. Uh, in freezing condition, you have to make the powder. That becomes a around forty to fifty thousand cost in India kilo. That is the price of the this. This very much useful for the health point of view. And next slide, you go next. Sanjeev ji. Yes, sir. Yeah. See here, there is a, uh, nice. see that is a, a larva. See, this is a top uh, left side corner. There is a two cells. Is there in their cells? There is a actually queen cells. This is a queen cell becomes very big size compared to other worker cells. In that there is a larva. You can see larvas also. That surrounding place there is a white color liquid. Is a semi liquid. That is a, looks like a ghee. That is a royal jelly. That we have to extract by using this cup method. And see, that is simple. One day we are working in the one B box. Means we will get the um, one day, not one day, is so, uh, three four hours, and we will get the uh, less than 100 grams of royal jelly in the raw form. That is very much useful for health point of view. A lot of demand is there in the future uh, in India. That is the reason. Uh, is one of the byproduct and one of the other income active to the beekeeping. So all the beekeeper not only we should not dependent on honey. This type of technology is also so adapted, and you have to start the collection of royal jelly in India. Next, there is a royal jelly health benefits. Uh, uh, composition C is a vitamin B1, B2, B6, and I said pantothenic acid and uh, biofin and uh, inositol. Uh, inositol and folic acid, vitamin C, like that is a uh, healthy uh, composition of uh, chemical composition of the royal jelly. And it will have the 64, 65 percent of water and uh, uh, other uh, compounds also is presented in the uh, royal jelly. Next, see this is the health benefits by the royal jelly. So 29 health benefits by using the royal jelly. That is the reason uh, all the athletics doctors and uh, uh, you know, cine glamour people they are using the consume the royal jelly. Uh, Uh, they are getting the uh, capsules from the foreign countries. Um, even though uh, nowadays in India also we have the online facilities uh, in Ireland, Ireland also we are getting the capsule, royal jelly capsules. So that is the reason we are encouraging lo local farmers to get the market. Uh, so slowly uh, we have to start the production in India also. Uh, and uh, 
uh, see the health benefits uh, little lot of all the 29 health benefits is not a uh, simple issue a lot of diseases uh, cured by the royal jelly um, anti tumors anti cancers and uh, hivs and uh, anti aging it will regrow the uh, dead cells in the, our uh, um, body that is the reason we'll get the anti aging uh, properties of by the, this royal jelly the high cholesterol purpose high blood pressure hormonal imbalance and immune system problems and uh, uh, impaired memory and impotension infertility purpose also this is a, this is a lot of help benefits by using the royal jelly next now is a second valuable part from the honey bee is bee pollen and bee pollen is also one of the highly nutritious food to the uh, honey bee so bees are going to flowers and collect the uh, along with the nectar bee pollen also one of the uh, food to the honey bee that is the reason they are collecting the uh, pollen also uh putting them back setting uh legs so next uh, next next please mm, you can see here uh, there is a different floral sources of uh, pollen grains and uh, uh, right side there is a white color uh, pollen grains in the leg and uh, orange color also uh, leg on the leg there are orange color that is a pollen grains bees are uh, nectar is in the inside of the honey sac and pollen grains in the Mm, back side of leg uh, uh, that is a pollen baskets uh, in that pollen basket they covered with and they carrying the pollen uh, pollen to the box so here there is a uh, five varieties of bottle species there is all are that source is varying depends upon the flowering so depends upon the flowering source the pollen properties varying color taste flower everything is changing next and you see the uh, in the legs there is a pollen grains one travel they will collect the two pieces of pollen grains like that they will uh, coming back to the hive and stored in the honey cells for the for the all the bees uh, they will get the nutrition through the um, pollen grains this is a highly nutritious food to the human beings also next you see here how to collect the pollen grains see there is a legs this is a, a, uh, projected the uh, pollen grains in the back cell legs and we are providing the one pollen trap i will show the pollen trap also see this is a pollen trap the small holes is there in this uh, this hole is equivalent to the body size of the honey bee while going inside that uh, b will uh, along with the carrying the along with the pollen grains they will forcefully they enter in the holes that time that pollen uh, pollen pellets will fell down in the trap so the trap is we are putting the in front of the uh, uh, entrance of the bee box and uh, that entrance will be uh, closed uh, by the pollen trap and bees are forcefully entered into the that uh, restricted area of the um, uh, pollen trap so that uh, pollen grains fell down in the trap that is a bottom side left side bottom side photograph is showing that pollen uh, collection by using this pollen trap we can collect per day is 200 to 250 grams in the coconut plants or sunflower uh, like whichever plant source is producing more pollen grains in that sources we can put the uh, pollen traps and we can collect the more than uh, around nearly 200 to 50 grams we can collect the pollens but here daily uh, after after uh, we have to collect the pollen remaining uh, data we have to leave for them because their food uh, pollen also their nutritious food that is the reason half of the day we have to collect it half of the day we have to leave for them otherwise alternate alternative days we can collect the pollens generally this pollen is unseasoned whenever they not having the pollen uh, flowering sources that time we didn't have the uh, honey portion that time we have to ship the bee boxes Mm, where are pollen uh, pollen uh, uh, producer plantations is there uh, example uh, sunflower and coconut uh, like that is a uh, jowari uh, maize like that you have to put the bee boxes then we can collect the pollen grains as a other income activity next so bee pollen bee pollen is a highly nutritious food it will have the anti allergic anti cold b complex it mean a c d e b p cholesterol and the 28 mineral source essentials uh, required for our body and pollen improves body immunity which helps fight allergies uh, fever remediation uh, and regulates the blood pressure and uh, as well as cholesterol there is a reason this is one of the second valuable part from the honey bees by consumption of the royal jelly and bee pollen we will have the um, strength 
energy so we are uh, bees need uh, uh, carbohydrates uh, as a food carbohydrates from the nectar and a protein supplement from the honey bees like human beings are need the uh, carbohydrates through uh, uh, rice and uh, roti uh, like that and uh, protein and vitamins from the chawal or uh, vegetables like that so be, same way we can get the uh, protein supplement through the bee pollen not only uh, this process this uh, antel is again called bee complex with me acd and uh, uh, rh value uh, not rh hemoglobin percent also will increase the human consumption uh, there is a reason uh, this one of the health for the, for the uh, human beings uh, and recently all the countries and the doctors are prescribed to uh, use localized uh, localized produced honey why they are uh, prescribed the localized produced honey means because the localized producer honey will have the localized pollen grains localized plantations pollen grains is available so that is the reason will um, that will very much useful to the uh, allergies and uh, anti allergic anti cold purpose that is the reason we have to consume the uh, pollen grains uh, wherever we are living that localized pollen we have to consume and that is a, uh, one of the um, important thing uh, for consumption purpose and next and this is the health benefits uh, uh, energy vitality weight loss and uh, stamina allergies expulsion of toxins and uh, antibiotic uh, and uh, impotential asthma chronic fatigue immune system booster posture this is a monophase anti aging longevity recovery from chronic illness like that there is a uh, 15 health benefits is, is there by using the uh, pollen grains that is the reason we are increasing uh, worldwide why we have to increase the raw honey what is raw honey means we should not filter the pollen grains uh, we have to leave the uh, pollen grains in the honey the same as this we have to consume along with the uh, uh, pollen grains that are honey uh, that is the reason uh, raw honey now which is a famous word in the market that is the reason we are increasing the raw honey next next is the coming point of the honey so in india 95% public doesn't know what is honey 95% except professors bee keepers and doctors uh, uh, some professors like that but you see basically honey comes from the nectar and nectars will produce with the flowers uh, through the nectaries of the flowers but all the flowers not same in the nature one uh, only single flower source is not available entire year long so season by two months or uh, three months there is a flowering season Uh, depends upon the season, depends upon the area, depends upon the climatical condition. That nectar properties will varying. What is the nectar properties? Color, flavor, viscosity, and taste is the basic four physical properties of nectar will varying from plantation to plantation and area to area, season to season. That is the reason we should not expect the uh, uh, honey will have the same properties. What nature we are providing? Uh, what nature provided to us that we have to accept it? Accept it, but as a indian consumer we are thinking honey is a good color good taste good flavor and good thickness that, that means a high viscous this is a wrong thing and the uh, color is changing from white color to black color you see that uh, mid of the top of photograph and color is see white color to black color generally white color honey is available in the uh, cold weather uh, areas uh, that flowering source becomes a very light color and dark color becomes a, any herbal honeys or squeezed honeys like that is varying so uh, any light color honey is very tasty uh, good taste point of view very good and dark color honey is a medicinal point of view uh, high, high range medicinal properties but taste it doesn't go to so this is the way there is a physical properties is there and uh, see color different colors in the right side corner photographs is a white color to black color how it be you see black some for example you see uh, spices uh, ajwain so carom honey is there carom honey is always is becoming black and uh, kala jamun um, uh, kala jamun also is a black color eucalyptus also black color but all the black color honey is a, uh, very highly medicinal value but taste is doesn't good and you see the bottom photo this is uh, mid of the photo that is white color and different shade of uh, uh, colors so you see the bottom uh, photograph white color yellow color and reddish amber color dark dark color like that is it depends upon the area depends upon the plantation wise that color is varying but in india 
nobody not accepting this dark colors and the light colors so who is the farmers collecting the black color honey they are unable to sell the honey in the market that is a reason we are educating the consumer point of view uh, what is the uh, honey properties uh, not only we everybody should have the knowledge and the uh, what is physical properties of honey so simple form everybody should have to knowledge on the bees and we have to forward this message to consumers honey may not be same color same taste same flavor same viscosity this is basic important for physical properties of honey and beyond this honey uh, crystallization this is one of the uh, important thing is crystallization crystallization is uh, crystallization is the Uh, depends upon the uh, moisture condition less moisture uh, depends upon the uh, less temperatures depends upon time that uh, up, uh, a honey becomes a uh, crystallized slowly uh, depends upon that is also depends upon the flowering sources some honey may not be crystallized some honey is oil based plantation like uh, mustard sunflower and uh, some multi flower honeys and uh, some coriander honey uh, it will start the slowly crystallization from the bottom of the bottle uh, maybe that is also 25% or 50% some 100% depends upon the source of flower to avoid the crystallization we have to change the properties of honey so why we have to change the properties we have to educate the uh, consumer uh, this is also natural phenomenon of the honey uh, we have to encourage the consumer of the uh, this type of honey also otherwise it will impact on the farmers uh, market and next please sandeep ji next see is a crystallized honey you see it looks like say uh, like ghee on coconut oil uh, and uh, farmers level uh, cooking oil also uh, without changing any properties of that uh, honey uh, generally it will crystallize not all the honeys i said that is a oil based honey is jaldi crystallization hota and uh, some honeys may not be crystallized in the uh, ever forever like that is a crystallization also due to the low temperatures due to the um, saturation stages of the uh, sugar content in the uh, honey and less moisture content is less than 16% less than 18% is there means then the honey will start the crystallization so it is a natural phenomenon is not having the any uh, addition of the artificial sugars in this whether you are adding the sugars or not adding the sugars it may not that is second thing but honey crystallization is a natural phenomenon so yes it is as a raw form you are providing the honey means that is a crystallization natural phenomenon nobody sh should not reject this type of honeys generally all the cold weather countries will have the uh, honeys becomes very crystallized is it becomes a very solid and uh, it will uh, like a rocky next now is the latest trend uh, not only honey uh, this is one of the uh, by product from the honey bees uh, comb honey along with the honey uh, along with the comb we can cut it and you can sell it like this that also uh, to collection of the comb honey there is a separate uh, frames uh, design also is there that frames you can keep it uh, in the bee boxes that boxes itself the bees will develop the enter uh, comb so that box as this box you can take it out you can sell it uh, to the consumer this is the latest trend uh, in the foreign countries Now, in india also slowly is entered uh, this also one of the valuable product from the honey bees but it little bit costly is um, four times of the uh, one fourth kg of the honey but by consumption of this uh, along with the comb honey uh, chewing with the uh, comb uh, beeswax that is very much useful digestive problems and mouth disease is very much useful, useful uh, this type of comb honey is the health point of view and uh, next so here honey varieties so i said that honey means from the flowers depends upon the flowering source honey properties varying so depends upon the flowering source we can bifurcate the honey name also see multi flower honey initially honey means generally in the market we will we'll get the multi flower honey that multi flower honey means you are keeping the bee boxes uh, in the multi flower multi flower mixed sources plantations you will get the multi flower honey uh, other than if you are collecting the honey in the forest area that becomes a honey becomes a multi flower honey you can put the multi flower honey uh, that uh, in the name of the uh, label so after that multi flower you can get the uni flower honey 
what is the unifloral honey? We are single source of plantations. Single source means we have the uh, 200, 300 acres on a single power source that is sunflower, mustard, coriander, carom, and kala jamun, uh, any other um, uh, sources. We have the, that you can collect the single source of honey. That's a source of honey by uh, minimum 40% of pollinators is presented in the one single source of uh, honey that becomes a put the label that flowering gnome. That is indication of international standard. Minimum 40% single source of flowering should be uh, pollen uh, should be there in the um, honey. Then you can put the label uh, that flowering source. So depends upon the flowering source. More than 3,000 varieties is there in this worldwide. Uh, so depends upon the uh, horticulture crops, uh, depends upon the availability of the source, we can collect the unifloral honeys. Uh, I will show the different varieties of honeys. Dep this is the reason, uh, depends upon the flowering source, the honey properties will vary. And uh, third one is herbal honeys. What is the herbal honey? Generally, uh, earlier days, we had the only forest honey is there. Now we are, all, India is developed in the horticulture, agricultural. There's a different plantations, different flowering sources available. In that also, there is a, Herbal sources also is there. Now the, uh, suppose you see eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is one of the herbal plant, and kala jamun is a herbal uh, source, and uh, moringa also a herbal source. Mm, Carom is a herbal source. Coriander also a herbal source. Like that, we can bifurcate the herbal sources uh, from the general honeys. What is the meaning of herbal source? What is the benefits? If you see herbal source, there is a medicinal value. If you see, if you are collecting in the carom source, means that honey is meant for particularly um, for digestive problems and uh, digestive uh, related problems for that uh, honey we can consume. And also digestive, acidity, gas, like that we can consume. And eucalyptus, eucalyptus meant for the respiratory problems. Like that, the honey also related to, related to respiratory problems. The, so asthma, cold, cough, breathing, pneumonia for them, uh, eucalyptus is very much useful. Like that, we can uh, bifurcate the uh, herbal honey. Uh, next is a very much valuable, important honey is the jamun honey in India. It's very less production in India. Jamun is meant for particularly for diabetic patients, very benefit to the diabetic patients. That is the reason we are uh, increasing that uh, jamun honey is for the diabetic patients. Like that, we can bifurcate the herbal honey. Now we are coming to organic. Now in India, the so organic revolution is going on. Uh, so that we have to increase the organic, uh, people are increasing the organic uh, uh, honeys. But honey need not put the organic label because honey doesn't have the, any uh, uh, artificial uh, facets in that way. Yeah, if you have the, any, uh, intentionally we are changing the color, flower, tasteness, or to add the crystallization, we're adding the, some chemicals. Uh, that means uh, that honey becomes a crystallization uh, chemicalization and some, uh, farmers, they're applying the chemicals to the bees uh, to, to strengthen the bees, to avoid the diseases to the bees means they are applying this uh, chemicalization. The time also, there may be uh, some impact on the facets in the honeys. That is the reason uh, if you have, have that practice, means definitely you have to go to the test uh, any uh, uh, facets available in the honey. Uh, but actually, as per standards, you need not put the organic honey. Naturally, if you are collecting the honey without any uh, negative practices, uh, need not put the organ. All the honeys are organic, doesn't have any, uh, naturally uh, collected means doesn't have any pesticides in that. Next, sir. There's a honey types, there's a unifloral and uh, I said that is it. Depends upon the flowering source, depends upon the area that flower uh, nectar is uh, the sugar content varying from uh, different compositions uh, glucose, fructose, maltose, levulose, and dextrose. There is a combination varying from flower to flower. That's the reason taste is varying and moisture content is less than 22 percent, less than 21, less than 18 percent, and color white color to black color, flower taste, uh, highest sweetness to less sweetness, uh, very so taste, strong flower like that is varying from the depends on the flowering sources. Uh, that is the reason unifloral honeys all are varying from uh, batch wise and uh, uh, area wise. Next, sir. Next. Now, is a fourth important valuable for the honeybees that is the beeswax. Beeswax produced by the bees from their body uh, uh, through their wax glands located under the abdomen of the uh, bee. Uh, in the particular areas, that is a uh, uh, six to eight is a bees uh, produce the royal jelly, and eight to twelve days is uh, the wax glands is activated, 
and uh, that uh, through the wax glands bees will release the bees wax that wax is utilized to the construction of the honeycombs and seal as a sealing component in the bee box that generally in the forest uh, people are uh, uh, squeezed uh, combs uh, throwing outside but that is also one of the valuable part we can make it as a um, valuable part to, to the as a income source of the beekeeper uh, that very much useful to the uh, to make the cf sheets and the cosmetics and the lipsticks lip guards tracking evident everything done by the bees wax only and also pharmaceutical companies are major share of the market is a pharmaceutical company um, uh, and uh, uh, general industries the polishing industries they are applying the bees wax next sir see here uh, uh, photograph bottom of the abdomen there is a uh, white slices releasing the bees that is a bees wax that will be used to construction of the honeycombs next see so generally we are collecting the forest the, uh, generally they are squeezing the honeycomb uh, throwing out the beeswax most of the uh, forest bee hunters um, for them also we are increasing to collect the beeswax also uh, see after filtration there is a bottom side photographs here, uh, right side that is a uh, pollen uh, uh, beeswax uh, uh, pieces we can filter two two to three times what you may uh, filtering then we will get the good quality of beeswax um, generally i will show the uh, honeycombs see here these are uh, honeycomb species uh, after extracting the honey some extra constructed uh, in the generally we are in the bee boxes we are collecting these species in the bee boxes if you are uh, collecting in the forest means big quantity of the uh, honeycombs we can get mm, that we have to uh, melt it and uh, we have to filter it then we'll get the uh, liquid form that liquid after uh, cooling then becomes a solidified that becomes a wax good quality base wax will come that is very much useful for the uh, ayurveda medicine and uh, uh, unani um, and uh, dental and mouth disease purpose also uh, is very much useful this base wax and uh, soaps also generally the ayurveda soaps uh, they are making uh, using this base wax that is a, a industry point of view but as a bk point of view the same wax we are melting will making as a cfc that will be fixed to the Uh, honeycomb frames then we will start the construction in the uh, honeycomb that uh, uh, cell formation will done by the uh, bees on the honey uh, cf sheets okay next is one of the fifth valuable for from the honey bees is a propolis propolis next see propolis is one type of glue uh, bee glue we are calling as a bee glue that is collected from the branches of uh, plants and uh, tissues of the plants and uh, uh, any flowering buds that is sticky liquid is uh, um, uh, <coughs> releasing from plants that bees are collecting uh, with their mouth and legs um, that piece of uh, liquid uh, we are bees are collecting mixing with the wax and uh, pollen uh that is very use, using as a sealing component inside the bee box next as so a bees collected uh, collecting the polish means next next see here so propolis means nothing but bee glue so collected from the living plant tissues buds branches flowers uh, mixing with the wax and pollen also uh using as structural sealing component uh suppose if any uh, winds is there and uh, any cold weather uh, winds is uh, entering in the bee boxes either or other insects is entering the bee box means they will seal the any gaps or any inner cover leakages mm, they will sealing the all the things and uh, uh, rigidly they want to keep the their honeycombs in the bee boxes means immediately they will seal the corners of the honeycombs uh, that is the reason they are collecting the pollen uh, propolis and they will using as a, a structural component in the bee box and um, sealing material and one of the important thing is covering covering means is embalming substance whenever bees are dying inside any larva or pupa are unable to get that body uh, to take it out from the hives means um, they will covering with the uh, uh, propolis uh, for the embalming purpose otherwise what will happen that body is contaminated and the uh, that surrounding uh, honeycombs is spoiled the bacteria development will done they may happen that is the reason bees are 
uh, that bodies also they make the mummification nothing but mummification is a mummification technology is itself is a uh, from the bees only so see uh, rest photograph there is a mummification of the bee body it won't spoil now that is the reason then by applying the uh, uh, propolis um, the mummification they will do the inside of the uh, uh, any dead bodies generally bee dying means uh, any dead bodies are falling in the bee, bee box means immediately bees will take it out the body and throw it outside somewhere some one kilometer distance and like that they will do the uh, work that means you have to understand the, what is the quality of the bees life and the quality standards of the bees and the quality products of the bees next and the proposal propolis collection uh, uh, now we need a uh, there is no much market uh, but slowly is a raising the bees market uh, this propolis market also uh, is a not pure product uh, small quantities uh, not easy to collect uh, like uh, royal jelly and uh, now we are uh, recently our uh, national board has introduced the collection of the royal uh, propolis um, by using the plastic top bars in the bee house that is a, a easier to collect and a cleaner product uh, for the um uh, chemical uh, pharmaceutical industries purpose uh, there is a method we are putting the one uh, uh, mesh uh, in the inside of the uh, box you can see you can see next slide see this is the top box uh, we are covering the instead of uh, inner cover inside of the b box uh, under the top cover so due to the ventilation bees are all the bees are covered this um, uh, open areas by using the propolis then after the within 24 hours or uh, 4 days or one week depends upon the climatic condition uh, depends upon the temperature climatic conditions where whenever low temperature is there uh, bees are uh, starting the collection of the propolis uh, more quantity can, they can collect it and that uh, we can collect by using the propolis traps in the bee box next sir and the propolis composition uh, this is a 40 to 50 percent resin and 25 to 30% wax and 5 to 15% essential oils 5% of pollen is presented in the uh, uh, propolis small amount of trace uh, minerals and zinc iron silica that is also is there and active components flavonoids aromatic acids and esters um, terpenes the sterols amines this is a basic uh, uh, ingredients and basic components of uh, uh, propolis next sir so benefits of propolis see this is a 10 important anti antibiotic antiseptic anti infective anti fungal anti inflammatory anesthetic anti tumor anti accident anti aging anti viral any ounce any itching and any um, uh, rashes in the body and the surface of the body you can apply the propolis directly uh, and uh, dental problems mouth this is also very much used for and recently uh by the propolis they are making the one liquid droplets uh, the drops also very much useful useful for the body immunity fun condition in most of the south african countries have that this propolis liquids they are consuming as a body immunity purpose mm, this is also one of the uh, valuable by product from the honey bees uh, that is also is now we are using uh, ayurvedas and uh, you know any uh, medicinal purpose uh, people are using uh, uh, propolis and this propolis uh, uh, generally in you know, all ayurveda toothpaste without propolis there is no ayurveda toothpaste next sir yeah so bee venom so sixth valuable important valuable for from the honey bees is the bee venom next sir next can you, yeah is a beast back back sir no 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 after after bee venom yeah then next yeah okay leave it leave it like this see uh, once a bee attacking us means they will definitely they will sting once a bee will sting means that stinger uh, a uh, part will be um, stuck up in our body like our th thick skins and that stinger part will cut down from the bee body along with the intestines they come out from their body then bee will die immediately uh, but here you uh, want to collect the bee venom is by using the bee collecting operators uh, without uh, damaging the bee's life without impacting the bee's life we can collect the bee venom uh, that is a next slide please 
see there is a electronic operated uh, bvnm operators this is a uh, Uh, a few years back, uh, the National Bureau was introduced in India. Uh, this instrument uh, brought it from the Germany uh, in an international training program. Uh, I, I took the that photograph from uh, in this program. That instrument you have to keep it in front of the B box while going in front of the entrance. Uh, then we start moving towards the uh, that uh, operators. See that uh, there is a. wires current wires like looks like small wires is there in that we are supplying the um, uh, minute pulses wise uh, dc power we are supplying the in, within intervals 15 seconds intervals so on 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 and off 15 seconds intervals once it on this uh, dc power is on means we will get a mild shock then immediately there uh, due to the shock we will try to attack immediately on that surface of the uh, that area the You see here, bottom of the lines and bottom of the wires, there is a uh, glass is there uh, due to the glass is solid particle. The stinger touch to the body uh, that uh, glass means uh, it won't damage to the bee and damage to the stinger. So, but stinger through the stinger, the uh, small um, so uh, very small droplet of the bee uh, is detected through the uh, stinger. That uh, venom is in the earlier it is a liquid form that will be stuck uh, touch to the uh, bottom glass then it becomes a dried so like that is a, we have to put the operate the machine on uh, 3 hours in the one bee box um, every uh, alternative 15 days not daily uh, if you are doing the daily means uh, bees will uh, health will spoil that is the reason every uh, interval of 15 days we have to put the 3 hours in the day uh, we have to put the, this one then we'll get the less than 1 gram of Uh, powder form of the bee venom so this is also this bee venom also we are very much used for the arthritis and uh, diabetics and, uh, and uh, blood circulation purpose and um, uh, elephant as diseases uh, purpose also we can uh, use that uh, uh, bee venom next sir can you can you hear my voice is it clear Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect, sir. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. See, this is uh, up to now we know about the uh, bee hive products. There is a six valuable bee hive products, and this is a uh, one of the health services from the honey bees. Health service means that is the epi therapy. It is a famous famous therapy in Kerala. The worldwide is uh, our Kerala is famous in India worldwide, and the bee therapy. Uh, stinging uh, for the diabetes, not only diabetes, but circulation, knee pains, and body pains, and arthritis, uh, joints, uh, joints pain. Purpose they are using the epi therapy. Uh, we can uh, stinging the epi therapy now. National Bee Board also, National Bee Board also encouraging to set up the uh, epi therapies in the, all the states uh, to increase the epi therapy. This is one of the uh, medicinal treatment, uh, AP therapy. One of the health service from the honeybees. Next, sir. This is the latest breathing therapy, beehive inhalation. If you have any asthmatic uh, related uh, respiratory problems, means this is the latest uh, um, uh, changes in the AP therapy. You can see the uh, how the breathing the air from the bee boxes. This is one of the second valuable. health services from the honey bees next sir the schemes already i discussed yesterday uh, and once again i am uh, introducing uh, uh, explaining the schemes we all all ngos and uh, any group of uh, shgs and uh, any farmers communities fpos and we have to educate them for about the the schemes msme schemes also is there i said is a spurti program is a very much important valuable program to the group of farmers and uh, group wise mm, not only msme and uh, through the nhm national horticulture mission uh, through the national bee board uh, they releasing the uh, national bee and honey mission they introduced uh, in that also we can uh, group wise we can apply and we can get the subsidized bee boxes and the facilities infrastructure facilities and um, manufacturing uh, facilities and uh, manufacturing in the form of the bee boxes uh, equipment manufacturing and uh, cf sheet manufacturing any processing packing uh, royal jelly processing packing and uh, 
uh, all the uh, products uh, technologies are uh, have uh, under the nhm mbhm program so anybody uh, 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 we have to uh, move on move ahead to spread this news to the farmers and uh, uh, tribal and uh, farmers women who are basic uh, important stakeholders not only this one and unorganized sector people also who can uh, encourage them to put the uh, involved in the in these schemes yes sir next this is wow everything is wow sir next next sir. i will show the uh, some of the uh, practical uh, uh, demonstration about the honeys and uh, uh wax uh, and pollen collection next sir next is over sir so next okay i will show the different varieties of honey what we are collecting the uh, different places of uh, uh, different regions mm, one by one i will show mm. hello yes sir yes sir sanjeev yes sir hello sir aap sun pa rahe hain are you audible to me sir hello hello yes sir we can hear you hello i think sir uh, he's kind of finished this thing so i think sandeep ji up in ko vote of thanks de dijiye and um, just uh, give me the five minutes madam please give the five yes, minutes yes, time sure time. sure sure can you see my video um we can only yes. see the thank you uh, yes sir we can see video okay. no, my my uh, this one in the yes, hand yes, is yes, royal yes. jelly but yeah this one is a royal jelly and uh, second valued fruit from the honey bees is the pollen grains this is a pollen grains so one travel bees are collecting two pollen grains that is also we can collect this one of the income source of the honey bee keeper This is the second valuable for from the honey bees, and third one is the honey. At present in my hand, there is a eucalyptus flowering sources of honey, and this one is the carom honey, which are collected from the ajwain sources. Carom means ajwain in Hindi, carom uh, uh, flowering sources, and this is a wild multiflower sources. This is a, everything is a color, everything is changing. You see here, color, flower, taste, everything change. because it's a natural form honey it will like that only and like that there is all varieties of honeys depends upon the said this is a kala jamun this one is a mustard sauce and this one is a coriander sauce and this one is a lychee sauce generally lychee is available in the bihar up madhya pradesh and some part of the west bengal one of the sweetest honey in india this is another agricultural sector multiflora honey so you can find out the colors and everything you see color so all yes, the properties sir, in, in, yeah lot of changes all the properties because it is natural for even uh, vegetable or fruit same seed may be in but different areas different taste different uh, uh, properties will be there so as a consumer point of view we are increasing to know about the uh, different properties of honey um, and to to benefit of the farmers and bees wax sorry
see after melting of the beeswax can you see everybody voice is clear yes 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 yes, yes sir see after melting of the this raw wax this is a raw wax uh, uh, raw wax means that the honeycomb we are collecting the uh, forest whatever it may be this is a beeswax honeycombs see here after melting this after melting we have to filter then we will get the good quality uh, consumable means in purpose you can like this okay one of the by uh, source to the beekeepers okay this is a fifth one is the propolis this is propolis bee glue this also uh, we can collect it by using the techniques uh, as a top uh, plastic calcite and b1 is a liquid powder form is there actually actually initially is a liquid form but once it come out from the stinger that becomes a solidified that and calcite all the beakers to so to to make the your uh, uh, benefit means the uh, profitable means you have to use uh, all the technologies by uh, collection of this one not only this one and you can grow the bees you can sell the bees also uh, to the other farmers that is also a second major income to the bee keepers that is also um, uh, very much important to the all bee keepers to, uh, to success of their uh, industry uh, in the form of the economical point of view also okay madam any doubts any clarifications No, sir. No doubts. Um, I think uh, we are learning. We are learning a lot, actually. Okay. So, so much for not only kind of giving us the theoretical aspects, but also you know bringing out these samples and showing it to us, etc. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. But beekeeping is a practical oriented uh, technology, madam. Uh, by seeing a presentation, we can't understand. That is the reason we are providing all the practical uh, demonstration in everything. Okay, Mr. Simiji. Am I audible too? Yeah. No. No, it's okay. Yeah. I... Sandeep ji. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, on the uh, very much, well, thank you, sir. And uh, on the behalf of I can India Covid Action Network, I would like to thanks from my bottom of hearts and from the entire team that uh, who has given us uh, a lot of uh, good knowledge and good learning experience through uh, online classes. We can say, mm -hmm. and okay. we have learned a lot of things about uh, royal jelly, bee pollen, honey, bee wax, uh, propolis, and etc. So mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, after that uh, we learn a lot of things about how uh, how what are the schemes uh, uh, initiated by government of India mm -hmm. and how we can take benefits and uh, so we have learned we have learned a lot of things and really that uh, session is uh, fruitful and uh, and during this pandemic we have utilized this our uh, time and uh, so yeah that is the most important thing. Yes, that is the most important things. And uh, so again, I would like to thanks. And uh, so hopefully, uh, I'll uh, we will try to meet you as soon as possible once situation will become normal. And uh, welcome, sir. welcome, if, welcome. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and during last uh, uh, two days session, we have reached around five hundred uh, on our uh, FB channel, Facebook channel. And okay. around uh, yeah uh, that reached about uh, our session and uh, so again sir thank you and if we have any question then uh, we will uh, contact you sir and if any okay. entrepreneur uh, want to start uh, want to start businesses so be keep it coming and like you know, whatever then uh, we will connect you and yes, sir. Uh, yeah yeah sir. okay sir
and and, and uh, as a as a uh, service oriented organization you have to spread the this uh, information one of the important uh, activity beekeeping is uh, in the nature uh, is very benefit to the rural areas rural people so schemes and uh, benefits of the beekeeping we have to uh, and uh, about the bee hive products also should reach the rural people then uh, they can utilize the this type of uh, activities they can for the survival of their lives so in this uh, pandemic situations we have to give them more support to the rural uh, uh, agriculture and non agricultural sector also so everybody uh, my request is everybody to pass on this news to the uh, root levels yes sure 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 okay, okay sir. thank you thank you very thank you, much sir. sir namaste sir namaste namaste thank you sir welcome thank you